what's up guys i don't know why i just punched the screen <laughs> but hey guys sheriff back and i'm bringing you some more dragon ball z dokkan battle sorry about the delay actually <laughs> um or like the week delay on uh posting anything um or uploading anything new on this game there actually wasn't a lot going on there was the universe six tournament um there was the universe six saga that happened so actually you know what just because just because i mentioned it i want you guys where is it where is he where's my oh wait he's probably back up here back up here back up here back up here look at my son that is my son you can't tell me I don't look like Kabe. I should Photoshop Kabe's head, like hair on my head. <laughs> Actually, that's a good thumbnail idea. Anyway, but yeah, um, the only thing that really happened was Universe Six. So I, I farmed up Kabe because Kabe is Kabe is becoming one of my like favorite characters from Universe Six. Um, him and Hit. I mean, everybody loves Hit. But, I mean, I did kind of feel, I kind of did, you know, like Kabe a lot. But that's not why we're here. We're not here to talk about Dragon Ball Super. We are here to talk about the new updates and stuff that happened in Dokkan Battle recently. And, yo, let me just, I'm just going to pop open the news on it really, really quickly. But, uh, they expanded um, the character slots. They, um, the, the new world tournament is actually revamped, which is if you saw the title for this video, you know it's... This is about the new world tournament, and we're actually going to jump into that now. Oh, you can finally summon, even if your box is full. I know... <laughs> that is so good. I no longer have to edit out when I have to sell characters. I mean, you guys probably don't know or won't. You guys will never see what I do when I edit. But that's what I love. So we got the new world tournament, and the new world tournament is actually based off of how how much points you can rack up and it's actually got a difficulty um i'm actually using my um as you can see i've been playing just a little bit i haven't been playing like a super ton um but i'm actually playing with my physical my physical broly team uh just because i feel like because of the difficulty i feel like you have to bring uh you just need to bring stronger, like, just stronger units in general now. Um, so, basically, this video is actually just going to be just, just discussing the new World Tournament. Um, now, the way it used to be, so if you guys are just brand new to Dokkan, uh, World Tournament used to be ran off of, uh, off of like, a tier-based system, uh, a wins-based system. So, the more wins you got, the higher in tiers that you would, like, go up in. And that would, like, and normally, if you got into, like, the higher tiers... Um, you know, it was always based off of wins to get like prizes and like mission reward, like the mission rewards and stuff like that. Now the way the world tournament is set up, it's, it's based off of how many points you get actually in the world tournament. And the higher your difficulty is, the greater multiplier on, on those points you'll get for completing. Why is everybody fighting everybody else? I swear, I don't look at the screen for two seconds and Vegito and Gogeta, ha, huh, Vegito and Gogeta are going at it. Um, but like, yo, Eternal, I am not going to fight. This, this is supposed to be me kicking some butt, but, um, it's not going to be that. I'm actually just collecting medals because I need more, uh, Bulma and, uh, Turtle medals, um, to Dokkan some more, uh, Super Strike cards. I'm working on the failed fusions, but that's just, that, that, that's just what I'm working on now. But... Honestly, in the comment section below, actually tell um tell me um do you prefer this new system um over the old system or did you think getting the 80 wins was easier over you know because a lot of people just do it to get the SSR tickets um so now that the SSR tickets are based off because um the tier system I'm on right now or where I'm at if I get oh my god all right that's it I gotta get over there um. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, tier system. Um, do you prefer this one off of the wins, or or do you prefer, you know, the old getting 80 wins, or do you prefer the new point system? Oh, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, because normally a lot of people, the, the reason uh, people do it is because they just want the, um, they want the, 
they want the SSR ticket. They want the guaranteed SSR um, ticket. So that's why a lot of people do it. So now that it's based off of points, I mean, where I'm at now, that's where I was. That's where I was. Um, a million points, I'll get a silver SSR ticket, which that'll be number two. That'll be my number two ticket because I had one left over from the last world tournament. So, oh, I want to get you guys' opinion on how you feel about this new system versus the old system. I, I personally like I, I personally like the new one because me and my friend went me and my friends that play Dokkan, um back when it was just me and my other friend, now there's a bigger a bigger circle of us that play. Um me and him went we went ham on one world tournament um a few months ago. I forgot what it was. I think it was during the Agility Beerus World Tournament prize. Um, we tried to, we, we like, we like competed against each other actually to see who could like, who could, you know, who could like top it, top us or, you know, who was the best out of both of us. And at the end of that, not going to lie, we were, we were actually like, we were kind of done with, Do <laughs> we were kind of done with Dokkan. We didn't like want to pick it up anymore, but now with the new points based system, it's actually a lot more fun to play. And, um, it's actually really cool. Like you would actually want to run your best units. Um, also what teams are you running? If you're running Vegito, you're probably running mono AGL. Um, if you don't have any God cards, actually get off my screen. Um, if you don't have any God cards, actually, um, I did do a video on, uh, if you get Baba Shop points, get the great Saiyan Man and Baba Shop. And I actually talk about a little bit of team, like how you can build up like a mono AGL team uh, based around the great Saiyan Man. Because he does have kind of a god skill. He just doesn't give out key. Um, so you just want to focus on getting really good. He gets shocking speed. So you can literally build a shocking team speed around, bring some key support. And you're actually like it actually works pretty well. Well, and just bring a Vegito lead. You're golden. But I have a video. I'll probably uh, I'll probably uh, link it at the end of this video so you guys can go and check that out. Um, so you guys can, if you for those guys who for those of you that are new and you have those Baba Shop points saved up and you want to use them on something kind of decent, um, that option's there for you. So hopefully I can get out of these preliminaries. Jesus! Oh my god! Oh my god! But yeah, guys, I'm 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 really enjoying this world tournament. I'm trying to. Um. Oh, there's also the the rankings are different now. So now you have world rankings. Um. Now you, um you have local rankings and you have rankings amongst your friends. And now, depending on like okay, if you rank globally, if you rank really high globally, you'll get the global prizes. But if you also rank high, or if you rank high amongst your friends, you can uh, if you rank high amongst your friends, there's also prizes for that as well. So this pri the prize this time is you're um you're getting an SSR uh, uh an SSR Piccolo for the friends, which I think that's actually really dope that they're giving away prizes depending on which like which like tier system you're doing, um so and like oh also I'm just throwing questions after questions after you guys at, at you guys, but are you guys personally are you aiming for being in that top 100 locally? Are you trying to be the best amongst your friends? Because now they're giving out prizes for like, like topping in different, in different category, like top, topping differently. I honestly try and want to rank the best locally here where I, you know, um, where I live. So um, it'll be cool because then you'll like, it's cool because you'll see other users that play local, play this game locally in your area. And I think that's really, I think that's really cool. Um, because then people could probably start setting up, like, I don't know, communities, I guess, that play Dokkan locally or stuff like, I mean, even though, like, I don't know why you would get together for Dokkan, I'm just, I, I am honestly just spewing, I am just talking whatever now, I am just spewing, but if you guys are enjoying this, I actually also have a Hunter Hunter video coming out today, I'm, um, for you Hunter Hunter fans, or if you play both, that's awesome as well. I'll save those purples for somebody else. Oh, should I have healed? Nah, Broly's gonna like run through like. God, I love. Bro you know what? This Broly is actually really nice in World Tournament because like um the defense on characters go like so much higher now when you choose the higher difficulty settings, 
and Broly has such a high damage output now, and he does two super attacks. This physical Broly is actually really nice. Um, I know if you guys are still trying to use AOEs, um, like the attack all units like uh, Broly, Majin Vegeta, uh, Xeno Trunks, um, you can't really use those guys anymore. Um, if you if you do, you probably want to try and do like a thing where you like change up the key. Um, I know a lot of people are running uh, the Tech Goku with the Majin Vegeta or Majita. And uh, with the Majita just so they can get enough orbs so they can kind of like mass nuke the field. Because a lot of people only Dokkan <laughs> their Vegetas at, at SA1. So if you, S if you Dokkan yours at SA10, good on you because your Vegeta will do a little bit more damage. Um, but if not, it's okay. You can manipulate key, use the Tech Goku. Uh, if it's for the Xeno Trunks, bring the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, the physical Vegeta for the uh, for Xeno Trunks. You can still you can still do it, but um, a lot of people are starting to run like their actual like their team like everyone people are starting to run like their actual teams for this. But um, maybe maybe they are. I don't know, but um, I know that this is different. You don't want to take. You don't want to take your AOE units because they're not going to hit everybody because everyone's health does increase on the higher difficulties. So you can't just mass wipe everybody with Majin Vegeta and then think you're going to be done and then somebody lives and you're like, oh no, oh no. But but yeah, guys, but I'm actually going to, I'm going to play, I'm actually going to play this for a little while. Tell me, tell me what you guys' goal for the new world tournament system is. Are you going to try and be the best amongst your friends? Are you going to try and be the best locally? Or are you still aiming to be globally number one? Which, that's all fine. I'm actually going to play some of this in, for next week's video. Which, for you guys, it'll be next week. But for me, it'll be within a few days when this is all over. Oh, cool. I got Resurrection F medals. Um, I'll actually do some videos. Hopefully, I can do a guaranteed SSR summon. And I'll do some Dragon Ball summons. So we can kind of get back on the summoning train, which I'm sorry for. But anyway, that's pretty much it about the update. Just let um, you guys just let me know. I'm going to actually just go back to grinding world tournament. And I will catch you trailblazers in the next one. Like I said, um, also, let me know how you're loving this new update. And I will catch you, catch you trailblazers. I said it twice. Catch you trailblazers three times in the next one. Later days.